we've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing? Uh, I wish I would have refilled my water before we started. Feeling a little dry. Too late. We are going to go feeling, right into it. Week 11. Feeling a little dry. I'm a little dry. Week 11, Jared. Week 11 for our Week sloop 11. picks here. We have seven games, six games to choose from here. Our seventh one, you can listen to that in yesterday's episode of Know Your Enemy Spartan Edition. So let's get right into it. The first game here, our noon games here. Uh, a lot of good games this weekend. A lot of good week. A lot of good games. I'll tell you how good this. Uh, I'll tell you how good this is. Uh, we are not picking USC Oregon. Like, is it just didn't make the cut? Is the fact that it's at ten thirty hurt? Yeah, it did. <laughs> like I had like like three games that I all kind of wanted, but in two spots to put them in, and then I was just like, as a tiebreaker, just like get the ten thirty game out of here. Yeah. All right. First game, Alabama taking on Kentucky. Happening. This game is in Kentucky. Noon game, as I mentioned, and Alabama is a 10 and a half point favorite. Are you, are you just you, where was I supposed to go? Yeah, or, sure. Were you just why, not? Why don't you? Just sorry. Why don't you, why don't you just you zone out there here? for a second there, Kyle? I did. I did. <laughs> I was I was just like, all right, Jared's going to pick up here and we're just going to move along. You and... normally ask me. You normally. I know. <laughs> OK, all I right. know. I, OK, <laughs> Um, 100 percent of the time. Uh, against FBS competition. Uh. Kentucky covers when they win and fail to cover when they lose. Hmm. If Kentucky wins, they cover. If Kentucky loses, they don't cover. It has been the case every single game this year for Kentucky, except the one against the FCS school, but I don't care about that one. And I'll tell you right now, they aren't going to beat Bama. Give me, the Bama, give me Bama, win and cover. Yeah, I agree. It's one of those games where it's one of those games where uh, Saban's still coaching. Kentucky's not as good as what people thought they were at the beginning of the year. Yeah, give me give me the Crimson Tide in this one to cover the ten and a half point spread. Sun Card, Sun Card is our guest picker this week here, and so we asked him who who he has in this game, and he says he says here. Okay, so maybe I was wrong about Bama last week. Just maybe. I'm not going to fall for that again. So he has Bama winning by eight by 14. All right. Next up. Michigan. Penn State. Michigan favored by four and a half points. Michigan finally, finally starting their season. Yeah. I mean, no kidding. Uh, we, we joke about, you know, when a team plays a team with a pulse, but like Michigan's best win right now is Rutgers. Yeah, no, it's definitely Rutgers. It's definitely Rutgers. There's no one else here. That team uh, that Ohio State fans got mad that Ohio State didn't beat pretty enough. Like it, when a because the, because there's like two types of games for Ohio State fans. There are games that you want to win, and there are games that get really mad when you don't win pretty enough. And people were cheating the Rutgers game like it was a game in which you weren't just trying to win, you were trying to win pretty. And that's Michigan's best win, is what you're telling me right now, Kyle. Yep. What's their second yeah. best win? Second Minnesota? Minnesota? <laughs> oh boy, you said that. I'm, look, I'm looking inflection. here. I'm looking here. It's Minnesota, Nebraska, Indiana. Yikes. Not, 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 good, not good picking. Not good picking. Who do they play so. next week? Uh, Maryland. Okay. They had like, they play like, well, I mean, I mean, the wet, the, the West isn't really all that 
yeah. all that great either, but it's just, but they, but they got Oof. a good, they got a good selection from the West is what you're saying. Nebraska. Yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. And Northwest. Purdue. Oh, Purdue. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, here, this is, this is got? my full, this is my full analysis on this game. All right. Cheating Shoot. ass Michigan falls Penn state to win and cover. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me the, give me the Nittany lions here. Michigan, Michigan has not played a team at all. They finally get to play a play team with, with a decent offense, with a stellar defense, one of the best defenses in the country here. Finally, Michigan gets to play a team here. They're not going to be ready. They're not going to be ready for for Penn State here. <laughs> Penn, Penn State Penn State will win this game. And they're not going to see it coming either. If only there was nope. a sign. I know, right? Eat Nass, Michigan. Kyle, what who does, does what Sun, does Sun Card, card say? What does Sun Card say? I think we I both find, asked. I, I think we both asked each I, other at the same time. Fine, I will. I will. I will read what Sun Card told us here. I told I wish you. I'm I could dry. say that I. Tr- I wish I could say that I trust Penn State to handle business, and I wish this was an 8 p.m. kick in the whiteout. But I believe Franklin will terrapin. Well, terrapin. And hand this one over to the khaki troopers. Franklin definitely rides alone. Michigan by 10. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out terrapin as a verb. I, I've only known the word terrapin as a as a noun. The, the only thing I can think of is um, will be terrified. Be terrified. I, I don't know. You got to help me out, Sun Card. <laughs> well, no, because it's still not a yeah. verb. Because it's, it, it's yeah, yeah. I believe Franklin will. Like the only a verb can go there. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the afternoon games here. Florida State hosting Miami here. Uh, Three thirty ABC kickoff. Florida State is a 14 and a half point favorite in this game. Man, how how Miami have fallen how Miami have fallen here. Where where they they are a 14 and a half point underdog here when they were when they were highly ranked earlier in the season here, but here we but here we are. Uh I got in this one I I got I got Florida State to cover. I just looking at these last few games here, Miami's kind of struggled, uh, kind of struggled a little bit here, uh, especially last weekend where they only put up six points. Yeah, against NC State here, uh, Florida State is just a just a dominant team, one of the best in the country here. I I got Florida State to cover here. All right. Um... I honestly don't know how to feel about this game. Um, I think 14 and a half is a good line. Um, I kind I see this as like Miami keeping it kind of close until late. Uh, but then like they probably turn the ball over Florida state scores, you know, it, does, it looks like up until like the last few minutes of the game, like Florida state's not going to cover and then they will somehow cover by the end. It feels like it's going to be one of those games. Miami keeps it intriguing, and then Florida State tacks on a bunch of points late in the fourth. So I got Florida State to win and uh, miraculously secure a cover. Sun Card says, Hit what happened, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh miami florida state wins but does not cover florida state by 13 okay next up we got tennessee we got missouri uh 
battle for second place in the SEC East, I guess. Should should Georgia not be able to fulfill their duties? Yeah. Um, number well, I have number 14, number 16 on my chart. I, I think I took these screenshots before the actual rankings came out, but um uh, 13 and 13 and 14. 13 and 14. That's even better. Uh Tennessee, Kyle. Tennessee favored by one and a half points. Both of these teams seven and two coming into this tilt. But Tennessee gets a one and a half point nod. It's it's pretty much a pick 'em. Pretty much a pick 'em. I mean at one point, but yeah, I think Tennessee's just an overall just an overall better team here. I still don't really trust Missouri at all. I mean, yeah, they did put up a good fight against Georgia last weekend, but I, I, I'm still not on the I'm still not on the Missouri band, um, train here. So I got I'll take Tennessee to cover. Yeah, as you said, this is this is damn near a pick. Um, um I I kind of I slightly so yeah for, forget the against the spread stuff. Let's just call the game here. I think. And, you know, if the one point screws me, then the one point screws me. Um, I'll say I, I, I like Missouri's offense more than I like Tennessee's offense. Um, but I, I think Tennessee's defense is, is probably the difference maker here. I think Tennessee does have uh, a better defense than Missouri. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to give Tennessee the, the nod. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. Suncard says here the dreaded SEC East schedule gets tougher and tougher each year. Honestly, instead of moving to nine conference games to the SEC, they should go to seven. It's a miracle these teams make it through a single season. Tennessee is known for moonshine, and I can't think of a single drink that comes from Missouri. Tennessee by three. <laughs> <laughs> So you got moonshine, which I would I would say is more of a Kentucky thing, if I'm being honest. It's bourbon, Sun Card. It is bourbon. Uh, although Kentucky can also claim bourbon, but it's uh Kentucky and Tennessee that they, they, they claim bourbon. The oh oh god, Odin. Odin with an immediate follow-up in the Discord chat. He goes, the river shot is from Missouri. Mississippi River water with vodka and Mountain Dew. Please, God, tell me that that's not. Why? Mississippi River water. Why, 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 why does it have to be? Are we filtering it first? What's happening? Are you kidding? Is this a joke? I need answers. No, Wait, it's raw. Sun, sun, sun card. Sun card. Can't think of a single drink. In Missouri. Anheuser. He's talking about like a cocktail. Then, then say a cocktail. That's, that's, <laughs> that's obviously what he's talking about. He's like a drink from there. Like a. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Moving on. Utah and Washington. Uh, Washington is a eight and a half point favorite in this game. 330 on Fox. Utah, Utah is still not Utah. They they haven't been all year. They they won't be the rest of the year here. At, at this point, I think we said this a few few weeks ago. Uh, if 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 their quarterback wasn't going to return by by now, or by a couple weeks ago, I think it was against Oregon. He he we would not see him back at all. So I think it's the same same case here. I think I think Washington covers this easily by eight and a half. So give me the Huskies. Uh, Washington last week broke a four a four game against the spread losing streak. Um, Utah, on the other hand, I I think I like Utah more than Kyle likes Utah. I've noticed that the one thing you need like so far. The kryptonite for Utah is playing teams in the, the state of Oregon. Their losses coming to Oregon and Oregon State. Um, I feel like this is either 
I feel like this is a game in which Utah like either like shocks the Pac-12 with an upset. Um, and it would probably be like a late game, true, like team chaos, exciting upset. Um, or they just get obliterated, lose by even like not obliterated, obliterated, but like two touchdowns or more. Right. Um, I feel like it's one of those two scenarios. It's either like a real easy win for Washington or like a triumphant win last second ish last drive ish for Utah. Um, I feel like those are the two likely scenarios here. Um, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with the Utah two scores or excuse me, the Washington win of two okay. scores or more. Like, okay. <laughs> like the, the Washington blowout, the Washington blowout win, I, I think is the more likely of those scenarios. So I'm going to go with that. All right. All right, and some card here says, hate to say it, but this is chalk. Washington is back on schedule and Utah is banged up. Washington by 10. Yep, yep. All right, and our last game here is our is our uh, night game here on ESPN, Ole Miss and Georgia. Uh, Georgia coming into this game as a 11 and a half point uh, favorite in this game here. So kind of like, kind of like with, with some other teams here where I think, I mean, Georgia, Georgia is the better team. Georgia is the better team in this game, but these past few games, have we really seen, like, is this really the Georgia team that that's here to stay here? They, they looked, they looked pretty decent against Missouri they looked they looked good against Florida, but Florida doesn't isn't really what they were paying out to be. Looking back now, but Ole Miss Ole Miss kind of I think Ole Miss can can really run with them here. Um, I think eleven and a half is a lot of points here, especially with a Ole Miss team who who made it close uh, for a while against Alabama, and and they've just been dominant uh, this year. Uh, especially as of as of um yeah throughout the season here they've they've, they've looked good they've yeah I'll, I'll take Ole Miss in a in a close one I still think Georgia will win but Ole Miss I think Ole Miss will keep this really close and and give the dogs um well keep the dogs sweating dogs don't sweat for the record okay, okay. that's why that's yeah. why they that's why they hang their tongue out of their mouth that's their yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got, Jared? Uh, Georgia has uh, struggled this year against the spread. Um, they've only covered twice this year out of nine attempts. Um, Georgia beat Missouri by only nine points last week, and I think Ole Miss is a better team than Missouri. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give Georgia, or I'm I'm still gonna give Georgia the win. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to call upset here, but I, I think I will call a Ole Miss cover at the least. All right. All right. And send card says here, if the football gods have ears and can read, please hear me out. Why not just for one Saturday? Let the chaos magic out of the bag. Yeah, I, I mean, look, Ole Miss let's not just take out the chaos magic one week. Ole Miss winning by three. Calling the upset. You got it. You got it. Listen, you got to respect it. You got to respect mm-hmm. calling the yeah. upset. Yep. All right. That's our last game, Kyle. So speaking of calling the upset, who do you have in your chaos pick this week? Um, for well, you, those of you who don't so, know, okay. we pick an unranked team to beat a ranked team uh, at the end of every show in which we actually remember to do it. Mm-hmm. So we're recording this. Uh, we're recording this earlier, uh, but, but we're we're posting this on Friday. But Thursday, Louisville versus Virginia. You have a eleventh ranked Louisville versus Virginia is one. Kansas sixteenth versus Texas Tech is another um, potential pick as well. Um, Kansas State, who's right there at the edge, twenty fifth, uh, taking on Baylor. Uh, maybe, maybe my pick here, 
22nd Iowa versus Rutgers. That, 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 that might that might be a good one. That might be a good pick as well. Yeah. Uh, tw- 12th rank Oregon State versus Stanford, but Stanford is bad this year. <laughs> so that, that that might not be a good one. Um, LSU's 19th um, taking on Florida. Duke taking on 24th uh, UNC. Yeah, you, you always you, you always gotta feel a little bit bad when you pick like when the ranked team you're picking. Same thing with Iowa. If that team's like twenty if something, mm-hmm. that doesn't ever feel like a like a bold pick. Yeah, uh, and the other ones here is Texas seventh taking on TCU. I wouldn't touch that. And USC on the road to Oregon. Uh, at, that is your Pac-12 after dark game. Kyle, I'm going to go. Wouldn't it be something? If Oklahoma dropped a a game for a third straight week. Wouldn't that be? West Virginia is not a bad team this year. I think they've kind of flown under the radar a bit because they looked like they looked real bad early. But West Virginia is not a bad team. They killed BYU. Yeah, BYU sucks, but still, West Virginia killed them, right? Um, I'm gonna go West Virginia over Oklahoma. I think maybe, maybe just the wheels are falling off the wagon in Oklahoma. I'm a, I'm a, my chaos pick's gonna be a WVU upset over the Sooners. Okay, that's that's not it's not a it's not a bad pick here, you know that that game out in Eugene looks very tempting there, but mm-hmm. I well they, they I think the USC got rid of their problem. Wow. They got rid of their problem. Will, <laughs> they got rid of their problem. Will, will, that, will that actually turn things around this weekend? I was just waiting for his heart to go through grow three thought. <sighs> Man, and not it wasn't even he, he that good it. of a he joke. Ruined he ruined it. Just, we just move forward. <laughs> Man, yeah, that that I think I think that was that was a really good one. I I think I'm gonna play it safe this weekend. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the Scarlet Knights to to beat the Hawkeyes this weekend. That's cheap. That's cheap, and you that's, know it. That that's fine. I'm not picking Stanford. I'm not picking Stanford over Oregon State. Here. I see now. If I were you, I think, and if you were trying not to copy mine, maybe, uh, I, I thought maybe that's where you would have gone. Nah, that's nah. Stanford, Stanford's not a good, not a good team here. Well, I the mean, wins well, were, the wins were against Hawaii. Yeah, Colorado, who's not good. We but a lot of people thought they, they were good at the time. No, they're not. And last I weekend one they of those beat, people. And then last weekend they beat Washington State, who's a eh, team. And all the te- and all the teams that they lost, Washington they lost bad. State they lost- was Washington State was a highly ranked team at the time, were they not? Um, were they when Stanford beat them? No, they weren't. No. Okay, Washington's- they were. They start. They they started off four zero. Washington started off four zero. They are State. on a five. Washington State. Washington State is a started the season four zero. Beat Oregon State, but ever since they've lost five straight. They are four and five now. Wow, I don't. How did I not know that? Including losses to. Stanford, not a yeah. good team, and Arizona State, who's even probably even a worse team. Yeah, Arizona State's so. bad, bad. What? Yeah, so what? I'm, Washington I'm not, State. I'm not touching was, that. Washington State, I think, got what w- would have been right before their loss. I think they were. I thought they got ranked somewhat highly, didn't they? Yeah, they were like in the teens somewhere, like yeah. the mid upper teens. But yeah, then they plummeted from there. Yeah. All right. Uh, are there any Ask Sloopcast questions or anything else we need to get to before we wrap this one up? Um, let's see here. 
Will Utah do the funny thing on Saturday versus Washington? Utah do the funny thing? What does that mean? That's your question, Odin. You may you may want to <laughs> may want to ch- chime the, in there. Do the funny thing, like <clears throat> score sixty nine points. Are we? He's typing. I'm I'm just I'm talking for a second to not leave empty air while he types. But what's the funny thing? Utah, the funny thing. I don't know. What this well, while he's. Well, he's typing there. Uh, the other question we had, how badly... Oh, there he is. Uh, it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing meme, meme on, Twitter. on Twitter where doing the funny thing is essentially upsetting them and causing uh, a shit wreck in the Pac-12. I've, I've, I'm off Twitter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, I mean, yeah, I think it's possible. I, I think it's... I mean, as you as as I pointed out earlier, I think it's like one of the two likely scenarios in my head for that game is either a Utah upset or a Washington blowout. And I feel like it's it it it's going to be one of those two extremes. I, I really think so. All right. And the other question we have here, how badly will will aggressive pissed off pocket hot dog boys beat? beat Penn State this weekend. I it, I I predicted an upset earlier. Um Yep. I think it's a close game. I think it's a I think it's a game. I think the outcome is very 50-50. Like in my head the outcome feels very 50-50. I think it can go either way. Um that's it. And like, I think that's it. I think, I think the game legitimately can go in either direction, which is why, you know, if you give me four and a half points to take one of them, I'll take that one. Yep. 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 Um, overtime. Those that game goes into overtime. Maybe that'd be fun. Penn state, Michigan overtime. All right. The last question we have from Odin here have these last two weeks, Made you the happiest you've been in a long time, given the rivals being cheats. Um, I, it's been fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's been fun, and like they've tried, and I assume these are depends to or excuse me, Michigan people leaking stuff to the like they're trying their damnedest to like. To, to, they're, to they're, do the what about ism with Ohio State. Yeah, I, I was that's exactly what I was about to say. They're they're in the what about and what about ism stage right now. But 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 but, but this team did this though. Let's let's point for, for, and directed directed the attention to somebody else here. For, first they try to bra- blame the Ryan Day crime Day. family, um, which apparently has been confirmed not to be true. Uh, yeah, which I, I came back bitter, and said what they did. I am bitterly yeah. disappointed. I so <laughs> wanted the Ryan Day crime family to be responsible uh, for all of this stuff being turned into the NCAA and, and, and turned out to the media. I wanted it to be true. I wanted Ryan Day to have hired a private investigation firm to out the hell out of Michigan. I wanted it to be true. In fact, I don't believe the report from the NCAA saying it's not true because I'm in denial still. Michigan's in the whataboutism phase, as Kyle said. I'm still in denial. I want it to be true. What that is an amazing chapter in the Ohio State football, Michigan football rivalry novel. The hiring of a private investigation firm? Come on. That's climax of the book Mm -hmm. right there. What was the actual question? I forgot. I got too excited talking about the Ryan Day crime family. Have these been the ha- have these two weeks been the happiest you've been in a long time? Right. And then the other bit of what aboutism is that Ohio State and Rutgers sent advanced hand signal scouting to who was it? Purdue. Yeah, Purdue in the Big Ten championship game. 
one, if you had just found out that Michigan had stolen your hand signals, would you not just out of spite? Because honestly, if you're like, I wouldn't, I would never. You're a better person than me or a fucking liar. If you just found out Michigan stole all your hand signals and it cost you the football game and and, and you, you're not going to retaliate. Second, if Ohio State did that scouting in game, it's legal. If that are if that's in game scouting, Ohio State's allowed to do that. And I don't know if there's anything in the rules saying I, I can't send a spreadsheet to the other team of what I think the other team's hand signals were. I, I don't know what that rule is. Furthermore, understand that the hand signals are only like one part of this. People always talk about the hand, the hand signals, the hand signals, the hand charts, yada, yada, yada. Have you ever noticed when Ohio state sends in the plays actually talked about this for some reason, except on the Rutgers side during the game last week. They got four, five, three, four, five people sending in the hand signals. Kyle, do you, do you need three or four or five people to send, send in a play? Is the, is the hand signaling that complicated? No. It, it, what, what, why can't we... College football is the only like. Hold on, is the, I, you need to follow level. that thread, but I need to finish this thought first. Why do you have three or four or five people sending in the hand signals? Because they're not all sending in the plays. Yeah, it's yeah. not before just you go, before you all it's go not in, you're just like, deciphering white. the hand signals. It is decoding. Which of those hand signals from the three or four or five guys on the sideline sending sending in the hand signals? What info there is good? And what info there is bad? Like, for example, maybe the coach all the way to the left is send, sent because he's the first one is sent. And I, God, I hope it's not this basic, but just as an example. Oh, it's first down. So I'm looking at the first coach. And the first coach's hand signals are good on first down. And then the second coach, the second coach's signals are the quote unquote good signals, the correct signals on second down. You wouldn't actually do that. That's way too fucking basic. Um, but you understand my point. Like some of the guys are sending in fake signals and some of the guy and one guy, or I assume one guy, I don't know how it works, is sending in a real signal. So I understand that Michigan cracking the Ohio State play calling code isn't just about hand signals. It's deciphering who is sending good info and who is sending bad info. Kyle, college football is the only sport where is what you were saying. So it's the only level that doesn't that doesn't have radio in their in their helmet. High school has it professional has it why the hell high, high, sc high school has what? radios in the helmet yeah god i'm old yes like wh why 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 is college why doesn't college do it like i, I don't understand i mean and that gets rid of that gets that gets rid of all that gets rid you're of, gonna all see of all of this some high schools i think my old one does now centerville I my 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 high school didn't have money and I'm old. Um I mean like when I was in high school, yeah, you you, you had one guy you had one guy that went in every play. Yeah, the coach that's all we did. coach yells it in the ear and they send them in. Yeah. They you just always that, had to sub somebody. Too, but. Which honestly is not a terrible system. It's it's not. No, especially especially if it's like a wide receiver when you are running the ball eighty percent of the time. So <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, just let's let's get let's get the radios and the helmets, this, and then we won't have this issue. Then it feels super obvious. So the NCAA will do it in seven to eight years. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's the end of the show. Um, plugs. This is Sun the part card. Sun, Sun card. card. Got a question for 
Sun card got a question for you. Apparently, I have a question for, for you. No, we're, no, we're we're about the end of the episode because we we were confused on one of your your picks here, uh, the Penn State Michigan pick here. Um, re- reading what you what you sent us here, so you said I wish this was an eight p.m. kick and a wideout, but I believe Franklin will terrapin and hand this one over to the khaki troopers. What what do you mean by terrapin? Yeah, we were. Yeah, it's a ter- yeah. Okay, we know, but I've never. I don't understand it. In, 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 what you in mean. The, used as a verb. It's a Big Ten punt. I, I'm aware. I'm not. I'm not familiar with uh, terrapinning. Like they will terrapin. I like use using it as a verb. I made it up. Okay, but what does it mean? Like Clemsoning. But the the thing is about Clemsoning is that we all understand what it means. I don't know what terrapinning means. Uh, and, and that's and that's the plug section. Kyle, what do you have in Kyle's corner? Uh who couldn't get it okay, done? Okay, well, he says Franklin always plays small and loses. He so does. is why? But why are we naming it after? Why are we naming it after the terrapins though? Turtle up. So oh, is it kind of like goes into his Turtle, shell? Yeah. yeah. So when there I said is. what does terrapinning mean, you could have said go into your shell, and we could have all yeah. saved a lot of time here. Yep. <laughs> also, right. I probably could have just got it. Because now that you explain it, it's not okay. Sorry. All right, all right. That's it. I think that's all we have. No, Kyle's we have here. Um, crew loses. They play Sunday. They got to win. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it figured out. All right. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the show. Uh, once again, tonight's ending music is Columbus-based band Mr. Moon. That name again is Mr. Moon. Um. Got, so surely someone gets that reference uh so, someone someone gets okay apparently no not nope not going to give it away i'm not going to give it away uh so once again the that name again is mr moon and with all that being said i'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer listen to local music and of course push local podcasters once again this is mr moon